everyone welcome back to this channel today we will be talking about how to create azar account so this is the episode one of this series we have already created episode 0 in which we have talked about cloud computing in azar if you want to understand about cloud computing you can refer to that episode let's move to the creation of azar account so that we can explore different services to create new azar account i have moved to the incognito tab you can refer to the normal windows tab you need to type portal. azar.com here it is asking for signing into the microsoft azure account if you don't have account you can just click on create one so we'll be creating a new account you can pass your email id here to create a new account this should be your existing email id or you can create a new email address and then you can pass the password next select your date of birth and move to the next field it will send a code to your email id you can just check your email id and pass the code here then it can ask to solve some puzzle just to verify that we are not robot yeah verification has been completed so as you can see our account has been created but to create new services we may need to have a zor free trial So this is the uh, dashboard where from where you can start. So your account has been created. Now you need to create a free trial account so that you can explore the different services of Azure for learning. So we had to click uh, click on start, and then just click on try Azure for free. You need to select your country or region. Then you can pass your name. If you have any middle name, you can pass it, or you can just escape this option. And then last name, your email ID, and if you have your phone number, you can pass your phone number as well. You need to pass the verification code here. So I'll just write the verification code that I had received to verify my number. The company name is optional. uh you can pass your company name and then you can pass the address line whatever your address is and then the city then the state and your postal code if uh microsoft will try to contact you for the free account you can just select this option if you want to receive any information tips or offers from azure you can select this and then just click on next so at this step you may need to pass your credit card and debit card information so you can pass your card number here and then whenever it expires your expiry date of your card number expiry date of your card number your cvv code and then your address line right once that is done you can click on sign up it may take some time it will also try to verify your card and it will try to debit few amounts from your card that is 2 rupees just to verify your card is active so once you submitted the amount of 2 rupees will be deducted from your account just to confirm that your card is active
now you can see the information has been provided here you can just click on sign up if you want you can enable the multi-factor authentication so uh, it will ask you to verify your identity you can just click on that and uh, you need to pass the code that you have received on this particular email id whichever you have provided now click on verify congratulations you were able to create your account go to azure portal And yeah, here is your uh, account with 16,700 rupees of credit. So your free trial has been started. And if you want, you can upgrade to pay as you go subscription, which is not needed till one month. If you want to do the multi-factor authentication, you can just click on that. And uh, there are a few tutorials that you can follow to understand how Azure works. So don't worry, I will provide you all the required tutorial to get started with the Azure. So you can start using these services from here. So here is the list of all the services. And this is your profile, which you can see from here. Uh, the email ID that you have used to log in inside the Microsoft Azure. So yeah, that was all for this video. If you have any queries or any questions, you can just send the queries and questions to the comment section. We'll try to answer all your questions.